hello everyone welcome back again in today's video we will be discussing about power virtual agent we will be discussing about how to create a chatbot and how to integrate your chatbot with chat gpt so the business use case is let's say you have created a power app or a model driven app or a power page website now the idea is to create a chatbot in which user can ask any question without going to a google or without going to a chat gpt that means your this chat bot will be integrated with chat gpt so let's check this out in action i will create a new chatbot first of all so i am into a power virtual agent uh, uh, screen and i have logged in and i have into, i am into the environment that is kumar dev and then you will see similar kind of a screen and then you can create new chatbot you can give the name let me give the name as ask me and i will hit create it will just take 10 to 15 seconds and it will create a chatbot for you and then we can get started on how to completely integrate it with chat gpt so you can see the things are loaded over here so the first step is to create the topic so i will go to the topic over here and i will create a new topic and i will say from blank and i will use certain phrases so let's say uh, i will go to edit you can see edit over here i go to edit i will keep inserting few phrases that will be used when my bot will interact with the user so let's say hi gpt hi open ai uh, hi uh, hi there uh, hello so these are certain phrases that i have used for now so once the user will be typing these phrases my bot will be active and this is the question now the next step is having a question that my bot will ask from the user so let me give a question as what do you want to ask from openai let's say this is the question that the bot will ask and the answer that is expected is from the user so i will use the user's entire response so the user's response that is coming i will capture this in a variable now so i will use a variable let's say uh, question question let's say it question and i am capturing uh, the user response within a, a variable called as question now my next step is how will i integrate chat gpt with this chatbot i will go to add I will go to adding an action my action will be a power automate flow so you can see there are different actions you can create a flow or you can use a template that is provided by microsoft that is called as the power virtual agent flow if you will select this one it will be automatically giving you the input of the flow and the output of the flow so let's go to flow and let's see about this flow that is showing in the virtual screen over here the power virtual agent uh, window so i will go to my flows so this is the flow that i have created and it automatically launches this flow so i will go to the edit section over here and i will explain you about this flow and i have created this flow a while back so it's not from the scratch but once you will start it from the scratch you will see uh, power virtual agent input starting and the return value to power virtual agent so this is the input you can say this is the output so once you will be starting from the scratch you will get to know two uh, you will be only seeing two things that is the input and the output so the first step is giving a input and this input is actually what is coming from my power virtual agent what is being asked from the user so the question would be let's say uh, what time is it of the day or let's say what is the capital of india or who is the president of australia so anything can be asked and this will be captured in this input after that we have taken a variable and the variable 
I am giving it the name as answer and declaring it as a string format. I am using this variable at a later stage. So just think of it is a variable right now and the name is answer. And after that we have used an action that is GPT-3 complete your prompt. In GPT-3 we have used an engine and the engine is DaVinci. Actually there are multiple engines that can be used uh, DaVinci, Curie, Babbage, ADA. So these are the engines that will be provided by uh, this uh, action and before using this engine you have to you have to give a API and for that you have to go to uh, platform.openai.com and you have to log in with your credentials once you are logged in with your credentials then you can go to APIs key and create new secret key once you will create new secret key uh, by hitting this button and you will give a name it will create a secret key you have to use that secret key once you will launch this GPT-3 uh, prompt and once you will provide that secret key it will give you this screen and this screen will have the engine name and into the prompt you have to give the prompt as whatever the question that is asked from the user and whatever question that is asked from the user we are capturing it within the input variable so I am mentioning the input variable over here that's it another thing you need to remember is the maximum token so by default it is set to 100 but we may be having tokens of we may be using uh, uh, big sentences and big literals within our searches so that's why I have made it 2000 right now so once this is done you will move to a set variable section so you will just be pulling a set variable so remember we have initialized a variable now it's time to set the variable the value of this variable would be whatever is coming from the GPT output so we have taken the text as in the GT GPT output from the evop and we are then storing it within the variable that we have declared evop that is the answer variable now in the answer variable I am throwing the body of the uh, uh, th I am throwing the body of the uh, answer received from the GPT engine and once this is done the final step will be uh, using the output from the GPT which is given to answer and pushing it into the uh, virtual uh, pri uh, power virtual agent so this is the end to end flow now I am back to my power virtual agent and let's say I have triggered an action if you remember correctly we used uh, phrases and then we use the question uh, and then we are using the flow and the flow will require an input the input is actually the question that is asked from the user whatever the question will be asked from the user is here now the answer is captured over here the answer is captured into a variable called if you remember my flow the answer is captured into the variable called <coughs> answer and then I am returning back to another input output that is going to the uh, our chatbot in the form of answer VPA and then I will go to the answer VPA and I can see this one now the next thing is let's go and uh, send a message back and I in the message I will write the answer returned from open AI is and let me pass the variable that is holding the answer and I will use answer VPA and it automatically, de automatically detects that it's a string I will add another action over here I will add another action and this time the action would be I want to end the conversation now so I will go to topic management and I will just say end the conversation this one and that's it I will just hit save and let's just wait for uh, okay it's saved right now now let's test our bot and I will say uh, I can use any of the phrases that is mentioned over here hi GPT hi open AI hi there hello so let's say I say hi open AI and then it just says what do you want to ask from open AI 
and I will say what is the capital of Australia and let's just wait for the reply so it is interacting with chat GPT and then I am getting the answer directly within uh, this chatbot that we have built in power virtual agent so is it this fantastic I am integrating this with chat GPT and bringing the results within my own bot and I can then deploy this bot and I can then use this bot within uh, uh, my model driven app within my canvas app or within a power page website so thank you very much I will be uh, back soon with another uh, use case of this power virtual agent thank you